This is Carpenter. Welcome back to another video on Craft. And today, I want to show you guys a tutorial on how to create a sand door at beach side, whatever. This might help you to escape from tons and tons or just mobs in your survival world or when you're in PvP. Now let's get into the video. So, in this build, you'll have two things that you need to know. One is the door itself, and two is the key to get in. The key and the door, it's pretty simple, but to connect it at a beach side, I have to say, it's a nightmare. So first, this is the key. It's pretty simple, not a lot of things. You press it, it will automatically get destroyed. So what is the good thing about this? First, let me destroy this. Connect this. What is the benefit of this key? Well, it's hidden. But the thing that isn't good is that if you're in a hurry, you have to place it and break it at and push it at the same time. That's the bad thing. But I have to say, it's pretty good. So next, we have the door itself. And this is just like a model. This isn't how you should build it because people will find it easily. So, oh, it's a door. I can't break it. Or can I? So I'll just put it in. And I have a button right here. It will track and extend. Oh, before that, let me explain how this works. So first of all, you just need a piston, some sand blocks, and some redstone. That's all. So how to build this? Well, locate the place you want to place the bun, like right here. So behind that block, you'll put a redstone signal leading down to your piston underneath. So, what it does is that, well, it destroys the button. That simple. Now, the redstone door is actually a little bit complicated, but still simple. So, here you have a double piston extender. Not too hard to build, right? Well, take a piston, regular piston. Because you don't want this to be, because you don't want this to be a door. Well, you want this to be a door, but you don't want it to stick to the sand, right? So regular piston, it won't stick to the sand. Now, this is the thing that you need to remember. So this bottom piston, repeater, need to be at the highest tick. Okay? The last tick. And the top one, you don't even need the piston, okay? You don't even need the piston. I mean, you don't even need the repeater. But, repeater helps it to control itself some way. Like so. So, I have this walkway. Push the button. It will open. And it will automatically close. Cool and simple. So, this is without the repeater. It will be faster, but it will break itself. Like you just saw. Yep, it just broke itself. So you will need the repeater. Okay. If I'm right, if you don't want the repeater, you will need something underneath. So like that, you push the button, it still breaks. So don't trust the repeaters. Like you just saw, it broke itself. And like so, I have connected the two things. 
together. And as you can see, but it's a little bit far, so, far from each other. So technically, I can't run. But you get the point. So here I have a test. No, I have like a model. That's the legit way how it works. So this is the block where it's gonna drop down. This is the block where I'm gonna place the bun. Push. Destroy. Get down. Don't do it like I did. Don't rush. It's bad. Like so. And remember to put a bun so that you can get out. Well, guys, that's all for this tutorial today. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit to like, subscribe, and do all the stuff. Remember to hit that notification button because I post videos weekly, but I don't even know when I'm going to post in the week. Maybe weekend, maybe weekday. Just random. Remember to like, subscribe. Like I said, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.